Okay, you guys, I'm sorry. Something got into my eye just a dang. Yeah, something got into my eye just that quick. I don't know what that was. Yeah, I don't know what that was. I am. Oh, what is that? How am I doing? Okay, you guys, we back um, from intersection. I have to take my breaks. I can't just pop out stuff like that. I got to take breaks and get refreshed and revived. Um, I don't know what happened to my eye. It looks funny tonight. Oh, well. Back to business as usual. Mm. Yeah, I don't know what happened. See, yeah, stuff is going on today, baby. I don't know what's I I, I don't know what's going on today, but uh, folks is pushing out these reads. Things is going on. I don't think people like what I'm saying, cause folks, I could have sworn um, it's not I could have sworn. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I had to get off because somebody was in my house. Okay, so we got folks trying to be all up in my shit now. Okay, yeah, yeah. My brother came right in here. Did you see that? Did you see that? I said, yeah, I seen it. Yeah, I seen exactly what it was and who it was. Keep your ass over there <laughs> masking with all that astro and Negro. You don't get yourself hurt. Okay? So we back. Um, we just did um, check out the Gemini. I think we did Gemini and Aquarius read. And uh, we got to do Earth signs. So right now we're doing Libra. Okay? So pop your box. Um, welcome to VIP Revive. Um, subscribe, share, you guys. Okay. Um, let me tell you what I'm about. Those of who are new, I'm here. I don't. I don't do the labels and cables and the psychics and shit. You're on a spiritual journey. I'm here to help you identify your weakness and your strengths on your journey. Soul building and soul healing work. VIP in your vibe, so you won't take a dive. Everybody's so busy. Hell as hell elevating instead of elevating. Okay. All right. So we're going to do a Libra, pop your box, okay, and see what's going on with you. If you need a vibrational assessment, I have RRP, shit you need to RRP that you think you don't need to. I have a self-mastery assessment. I have a RRP assessment, the self-mastery assessment, the shot caller assessment. So once we do the RRP, shit you need to RRP, then we go into the um, shot caller deck. And then we're going to see where those energies and all those thoughts where it's blocking your chakra. So I can tell you what chakra you need to work on. Okay. Then we do a self-mastery. So if you have a vibrational assessment with me, it's not going to be, uh, we may do two days. Yeah. There's going to be no hour you sitting talking to me and that's it. I don't work like that. And it's not going to cost you a pretty penny either. I don't work like that either. Okay, so my prereq is for you to be serious about your discipline. Okay, so I may just start a membership program. Okay, where people can just schedule uh, as long as you pay your membership to talk to me after you do your first assessment because this is ongoing. Okay, I don't think I, I'm not, I haven't, uh, I haven't um, set my prices, how I'm gonna do it, but I just may do a membership. Okay. Where you can schedule and say you need to talk to me about something. You're stagnant. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that would be one of the perks on the membership. It's watching the videos and being able to talk to me as well. Okay. So we're thinking about that. So anyway, let's get to it, Libras. Okay. So it's always on my board. Create a position of strength. Okay. Examine yourself with a cold eye. Right. Stop the watching, worrying, wishing, waiting energy. Okay. Found my meditation, fasting, battle warrior, prayer. Okay, car, meditation, fasting, self-balancing, dying to your flesh, strengthen your soul. When you die to your flesh, you make your flesh submit, you strengthen your soul. Meditating on wisdom and understanding. Observe the obvious in silence. Analyze the way you move. Okay. Examine yourself with that cold eye, like my eye. Yeah, I had to get cold on me for a second. Be in the energy to receive instead of deceive and develop the skills to build inner strength. Okay? All right. Let's pop your box and see what we got going on. Libra. Hold on. Let me put some music on real quick. Yeah, I forgot. Um, well, I forgot about my earth signs. I forgot about the earth. 
Okay, hold on, you guys. Um, okay. Hold on, YouTube. Okay, you guys. Okay, look, let's see what your first pop box is. Okay, Libra, your first pop box card. You are being reminded that ego, everybody's getting that tonight, can ruin your sense of accomplishment. Remember that others have the same potential you have, Libra. Okay? Okay? Wisdom is silence. Okay? When it's proper to speak, you can take pride in your words. Do you take pride in your words, Libra? Okay, that's your first card. Second card, moving forward. Okay, so there's some Libras out here that's not moving forward. You're too busy trying to resurrect a situation, past skeletons, and you have the inability to move forward. Okay, you have to move forward mentally. Let's say that again. So when people talk about moving forward in relationships, what's happening, a lot of people have not moved forward mentally. And in a thought pattern. Because half of these people are not with these masculines. They haven't moved forward in a thought pattern. So there's a Libra out here trying to resurrect a situation. Okay? All right? You need to examine yourself with a cold eye on that one, Libra. Okay? Because you need to move forward. Whatever it is. Okay? And your ego. <laughs> so, uh, your ego is around you. Yeah. So, I don't know what you do in your life, but everybody has the same potential that you do, Libra. Okay? Remember that. You're, uh, see, a lot of eagles is going to ruin a lot of people on their journeys. And on tarot. It's, the ego is going to ruin their ass. Because, let me explain something to you guys real quick. Nobody is higher than nobody on this journey. Everybody's presented with the same lessons and the same tests. The only difference, the reason people elevate more than others, because people pass their tests. People who don't pass their tests think they're the best. Okay? That's ego. Because they're out here trying to turn whole shit into holy shit. Pop your box. Yeah. It's tests. Shit. Hmm. Some days I didn't even think I was going to make it out of these 10 to 12, 13 years I've been doing this shit. What you talking about? Folks out here, he, he, la, ha, 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 love and light up. But girl, y'all living in a fantasy world. Self-balancing is needed, Libra. Process by which system, system achieves maintaining steady state of internal forces. Okay. So your mental need your mental needs self-balancing. Okay. Because we're talking about your inner, Right. Your internal. So a process by which your system achieves. Okay? You can create a position of strength on your journey, Libra, by self-balancing. Yeah, those are one of the foundations. Doing your self-assessment, self-balancing yourself. Analyzing the way you move. You need to do a self-assessment because you're trying to resurrect that old situation. Okay? And past skeletons. You don't have the mentally ability to move forward. Okay? So you may need to meditate on that and, and fast. And put on a battle warrior prayer. Okay? Because you're in the energy to deceive. Because you're watching and wondering and waiting for something. It just popped once again. You see, I didn't even shuffle the damn cards. It just pop, pop, right? Resurrect the situation and circumstances. Moving forward. You're not moving forward. That's twice for you. You're in a vicious cycle, Libra. Okay? Being weary, being with somebody from the past lifetime... Okay, you need to be weary of trying to be with somebody from your past and people who have hurt you already. You're in a vicious cycle, my friend, because this is a situation you're trying to resurrect. You got resurrection here, energy, and you got resurrection here, okay? And you have an ego problem. You're not self-balancing in your mental. You're in a vicious cycle, my friend, okay? And you need to meditate because you have created self-demons. 
self-created demons. So, you need to examine yourself with a cold eye. Okay? You're in an energy to deceive. Okay? You're in self-defeating behavior as well. Okay? Libra, let's keep moving. You can't create a position of strength on your journey if you cannot move forward. It says not to be weary. It says being with somebody from your past and people who have hurt you. Mm -mm. Like I said, where a man lays is where he want to stay. That's all I got to say today. And I know this is about a man. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ooh-wee. Mm -mm. Help us, baby. Ooh, what's going on? Damn, hot diggity dog. Hot diggity dog. Let me see. Let's see what's going to come out of this stack. Mm, mm, mm. Stop having protected sex. RP that shit. So there's some Libras out here having unprotected sex. Okay. A decision once made will follow up with unwavering action. So there's a decision that needs to be made. It needs to be followed with unwavering action. That means no doubts. This don't supposed to be in here. Okay. The day of conscience, self-sacrificing, extreme. You're emotionally closed. Okay? You're justifying your behavior, Libra. A person who believes in or attempts to justify his or her actions or behaviors. Excuses regarded. Okay? So you're justifying your behavior. RIP procrastinating. Give up the need to always understand, Libra. Okay? 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 23. For the rebellion is as the sin of divination and presumption idolatry, because you have rejected the word of God, and he's also rejected you from being king, Libra, or queen. Okay? We're talking about a queen here. Be persistent and decisive, all your obstacles will be overcome. Okay? So, let's lay these out, because we're going to shuffle again, so we can sum it up in a minute. Okay? What's topping off your read is self-defeating behavior and you're ju justifying your behavior on your journey, Libra. You're trying to resurrect the old situation. Okay? You are in a vicious cycle, my friend. Okay? Some, some Libras are out here having unprotected sex. You need to RP that shit. Okay? Once again, the flesh raises war on the spirit and the spirit raises war on the flesh. The only way to get the, uh, the flesh to submit is to say no. When you want to watch porn, say no. When you want to suck a penis, say no. You have to tell yourself no. Okay? It's not that freaking hard. Half of y'all too old for, this, for going through this crap right here. Ain't no sense. And then you're watching it. You're watching for something. Okay, that only supposed to be in there. That's emphasized that listen body language. I know that's hard to express. That only supposed to be in there. Oh no, I'm tripping. That is my alarming card, Libra. Something is alarming. I didn't even see that on there. Something is alarming. Okay. Let's see what else we have. Yeah, something is alarming, my friend. Okay, and a preparation is needed on your journey. How do you do inner prep? Self assessment. That's how you create a position of strength on your journey. In order to affect the spiritual realm, you have to lose the power to the flesh, Libra. I'm going to say it again. In order to affect the spiritual realm, you have to lose the power to the flesh. So a lot of y'all are trying to affect the, the spiritual realm, and you're still out there fleshing. <laughs> you're still out there fleshing, okay? You have to lose the power to the flesh. Deny that flesh. Mark chapter 8, 34. Flesh. So when you give into your flesh, you can't hear. You become deaf to the spirit. Luke 14, chapter 27. You can't create a position of strength on your journey. You need to RP that shit. Spiritual discipline. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. You need a spiritual discipline, Libra. There's some Libras out here need a spiritual discipline. Because right now, you're pro uh, procrastinating. You're self-justifying your behavior. Okay? You dealing with and believing in uh, divination tools. 
Uh huh. That's your God. First Samuel chapter 15, 23. It says that's a sin. You reject. You're rejecting the word. There's some leaders out here rejecting the word of God and going to divination as they God. You're listening to divination. Divination is a tool. You, you you're listening to divination as your God. So since you rejected the word of God, God is rejecting you as king or queen. Okay. I told you, Father only gives the queen queen crowns. Not you, not your subscribers, not your viewers. Self-direct correcting is needed. Okay? Self-direct correcting is needed. You need to self-direct and correct yourself, my friend. Stop. R.I.P. Here we go. Stop sleeping on the first date. R.I.P. that shit. Flesh again. You're codependent. Okay? Codependent injury, Libra. It says on a Taurus or another Libra. Okay, I repeat that shit. Damn, yours is fine. Scared of being, uh, you're scared of being criticized about something. You need to relinquish control. You need some self mastery. Okay, let's sum you up. Do not be okay. Romans chapter twelve verse two. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by renewal of your mind. Romans chapter twelve verse two. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Okay? That by testing your discernment, what is the will of God and what is good and acceptable. Okay? Gemini, I mean, uh, Libra, you must be dealing with a Gemini. Okay? Because you're scared of being criticized. You're not living according to your own value. Okay, self-worth. Self-worth means people don't know their own value. You don't know your true value. Okay? So, Libra, you need to examine yourself with a cold eye, my friend. Yeah. We got some Libras out here that need to RIP sleeping on the first date. We got some Libras out here that rejected the word of God, turned to divination totally, and self-justifying that shit. You're codependent on divination. That's why that codependence card is up there. You can't create a position of strength in your journey. Okay? You need to relinquish. Relinquish control. That's why people go to tarot. They have control. Give up throwing the towel. RIP drinking, thoughts, and control, and popping pills, Libra. Yep, I didn't even read, I didn't read the back of that card. It's relinquish control. Yeah, give up throwing in the towel. You throw up the towel. RIP drinking, thoughts, Control and popping pills. There's some Libra out here that's popping pills and drinking. You fear of what? Energy check in. What is your dominant thought? Yeah. Trying to resurrect the situation. <laughs> oh my goodness. Feeling insecure and fearful. RP that shit. That's your base chakra. That shit come from your uh, chakra root. Okay. Chakra root, you may Libra be dealing with a Capricorn or Aquarius. Capricorn Aquarius is connected to the root chakra, the zodiacs. Because you know the chakras are connected to zodiacs as well. Third eye, Cancer. Throat, Gemini, Sagittarius, Virgo. Okay? So you may be dealing with a uh, Capricorn or Aquarius in your energy. You're feeling insecure and fearful about something. Okay? Yeah. It says pop your box. Okay, confused about doing the right thing. Indication you ought to be concerned with your spirituality, not even if you don't have one. Take time to explore the truth within. Okay, I'm going to read that again. You may be confused about doing the right thing, Libra. This is an indication you ought to be concerned with your spirituality right now, even if you don't have one. Okay, take time to explore. Okay. There may be, be there may be tension between your idea up to your own beliefs and the rules and the system. Seeking you shall find. Okay, you need to get a spiritual practice, my friend. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there's some tension between what you're doing. Yeah, it's time for you to get a spiritual practice. You're confused about something. Yeah, you need to explore. Libra. Okay, that's it for you. So you can develop the skills of inner strength. Okay. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Yours maybe have a part two on this motherfucker right now. Okay, so you harnessing women's energy, Libra. Yeah. Harnessing women's energy. The feminine energy. RP that shit. 
okay? Let me tell you masculine. Let me tell you masculine something. See, the tarot readers got y'all fucked up. They was telling y'all that they did not, the spirit did not allow you to come our way because of our protection. They was protecting your ass. Okay? Get it together. They was protecting you because y'all underestimated. Especially mine. You underestimated me. He was protecting you. I'm going to talk about mine. He was protecting you because I'd have laid you to rest, baby. You know how you know how many feminists then died on this motherfucking journey because of you Negroes. Now I mean feminists that committed suicide. That's why I don't see shit funny. So when I see her people talk about the journey like it's funny, like it's all about abundance and your love, bitch, you ain't been on no damn holy journey yet. You ain't had your ass whooped yet. Cause you did. If you had your ass whooped, you wouldn't be talking. Sometimes you don't know if you're coming or going on this motherfucker. Sometimes you don't know what to believe. Sometimes you're trying to figure out are you serving the right father. We talk about that, do we? It takes time to build faith. People talk about faith. How do you build fucking faith? Let's talk about that. Let's keep it 100. Shit. Yeah. Now I was talking to my father, blocking folks out, my energies out of my crowns. Now I want you guys, now I want y'all asses wiped the fuck out. I'm going to keep it motherfucking 100. I'm tired. That's what I'm going to counseling about tonight. Y'all got to go. Y'all got to go. I'm for real. Y'all got to go, homie. Y'all got to get the fuck on. For real. And I'm talking to them. And, and the ones I'm talking to, and I'm going to keep saying it, the ones in their 40s and 50s, it's time for y'all to go, man. Now I'm asking for y'all to be taken out of here. Seriously. I'm tired of your asses. Shit. Fucking up everybody's shit. You want to be out there with that bullshit? Take your ass out there with it. But don't come fucking with our energy. Don't come trying to harness our shit. Because you want to give it to that spit. Yeah, I said it. Two peas in a bucket. Shit. It says seek your own creativity. Not others. Harnessing women's energy. Because y'all seeking their creativity and their strength. The one you chose... Should have it, right? You're not going to come get my shit to take it over there to her or him. You have no self-control. Includes being able to stay on task. Reframing from acting with impulsive reactions, Libra. Pay attention to your thoughts, okay? Because your thoughts is what got you caught. You laid down with a man and thought you had a plan, right? Okay. Just like we got in Terrell and everybody want to say right all of a sudden. Yeah, that one over there, she's still saying, right? Right? Ugh. Shit, mocking bird asses. Fuck out of here. Girl, get up, catch your vibe. Y'all need to catch your own vibe. Y'all here got nets trying to catch somebody else's vibe. Catch your own damn vibe. Cause I'm I'm done with I'm done with, with the with the cute shit. Oh protection and block you out of my energy field. Nah, fuck that. I want you out. Calling on the underground on your asses. Oh, you didn't know the divine ones have the authority to call on the underground, did you? You didn't know that? You didn't know I can call on hell? You didn't know I can call on the underground? Because I'm tired. Y'all didn't did enough, as far as I'm concerned. Shit. And then y'all a bunch of Negroes fucking with motherfuckers. Nah. Nah. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Shit. I'm tired. Fuck all that cute shit. Hell up out of here. What you vibe with is what you die with, Libra. Okay? And I'm not talking to my Libras like this. I'm really coming from my experience. Okay? So don't don't get offended. Okay, babies? Yeah, I'm talking about my shit. Embrace your warrior nature. Confrontation. Ask to confront anything or anybody. Okay, Libra, you about to have some confrontation. Okay? Meditation and fast on your body warrior prayer. Yeah, you're going to embrace your warrior side. Okay? you about to have some confrontation, Libra. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you about to have some, conf uh, some confrontation. Yeah. Yeah, 
you about to have some confrontation. Okay. Uh, let's see what we have to hear. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's going to be with a... I can't say mm-hmm no more. I can't say no. I got to change up all my shit. You begin to enter... Uh, let me see. Spirituality. It may be difficult to find a time to enhance your spiritual knowledge. Uh, brief meditation and sit still. Take the time out. Your soul will benefit. Okay? Take the time out. Your soul will benefit from that. Okay? You got to find your spiritual tools that fit your soul. Refining your vibe, Libra. That's how you're going to create a position of strength on your journey. That's how you're going to soul build work, soul heal work. Okay? Examine yourself with that cold eye. Stop that watching, worry, and wishing energy. Okay? Meditation, fasting, making the flesh submit. You meditate and fast is going to give you self-balancing. Dying to that flesh strengthens your soul. Meditating on wisdom, understanding, observe the obvious in silence. Okay? Inner preparation is needed, Libra. R.I.P. that shit, having sex, unprotected sex, you're in a vicious cycle, okay? Be real of being with somebody from your past, okay? You, you do not have the ability to move forward mentally. You have not moved forward. You're trying to resurrect some situations that came out twice, my friend. This is self-created demons, okay? We have some Libras over here. We got different energies going on. We got some Libras over here who's harnessing women's energy. Codependent on the shit, okay? Before they all because they don't have their own creativity, they too busy codependent on other people's creativity. There's some Libras out here seek your own creativity, not others. And we already know which one is that. Stop justifying it. First Samuel chapter fifteen twenty three for rebellions as the sin of divination.